Heavy floods on the Greek island of Crete have claimed at least one life, swept away cars and flooded dozens of homes. Local authorities have evacuated tourists and asked the residents to remain vigilant. Stefano Fasano has more. Mud and water and people shoveling away the consequences of yet another extreme weather event. Heavy floods on the Greek island of Crete have wreaked havoc and flooded dozens of homes on Saturday night. A 45-year-old man died after his car was dragged by currents in the northern part of the island, where rains battered towns and villages for hours. His passenger, a woman, is still missing. For everyone else, the tough job of rebuilding and cleaning up what's left. It all happened within seconds. I don't know how long it happened for. We just barely managed to get everyone out at the very last minute when the water reached up to their shoulders because everyone was sleeping and they had no idea what was happening. Cars were swept away to sea in what is one of the most famous tourist destinations on the Mediterranean. Now, several vehicles can be seen floating in front of one of the island's beaches. Firefighters rescued one woman trapped inside her car before it too was swept out to sea. Authorities said they were investigating more reports of missing people and fear others may have been trapped in their cars. The island's international airport was closed as the runway was underwater. Tourists on the island were evacuated and authorities advised residents to remain vigilant. And this might be just the beginning. Natural disasters, such as flash floods, are expected to intensify in Greece and become more frequent as climate change takes hold. Stefano Fasano, BBC News.